Welcome back to Welcome to Demon School Aramacon Anime Review Episode Number Thirty Two. This I'm reviewing the sixty third episode of the anime Instructor's Banquet. This episode covers chapters one forty two, one forty five. The thing with 45 is most of the chapter is most told in a flashback. And the whole thing is from the Spectre Penguin's perspective. So we start with the Penguin itself. And there's a lot of additions here. And I do mean a lot of additions. It's like they just took a chapter that was kind of shorter than it was. And just, just put a lot of stuff here that we're not here in the manga. Like, for instance, the party scene is actually longer here in the manga than in the, in, the, in, the, in the anime. So, we have, basically, the, we have Robin. We, well, first, we have, we have the recap. Uh, well, we do see briefly uh, Irma, Ozzy, and Clara basically go home to get their own welcome home parties. And, by the way, as for Irma, that's actually one of, aside from a couple of little images of him... He's seen roughly just a couple times the whole entire episode. He's only seen on screen for roughly thirty, about ten seconds, and the only time he seems at the end of the episode. Yes, the star of the series, and he's on screen for about twenty seconds out of a twenty-three minute episode. So the whole thing is basically centered on the instructor's banquet. So Robin is basically the host of this damn thing, and we have it in this pub, and of course Caligo is invited with. With the with professor, one who knows Irma is human, one of like a few people outside of uh, Sullivan Opera who knows he's human. So it basically this is about Caligo, which is quite interesting. We also had the woman who's got a crush him, just planted right next to him. She's embarrassed, and then later on, very apparently, she has no problem hanging out with him at, at all. It's really interesting stuff. Good, and also her grandfather is there, who is. Very protective of his grand, of his beautiful granddaughter. <laughs> yeah. So, eventually the professor gets drunk, and they of course proceeds to. Like Caligo is like the only person here who's not drunk. The guy he's with is he. He starts drinking this stuff, and he can't exactly like do anything with it because well. <sighs> Well, because of, well, he didn't he choose another drink, sadly. So, I should have a flash like what happened to Ocho, where he's leaving the leaving the area. And then, of course, then he gets shot by Rob with, with, with his arrow, which is the same build that Amber just learned recently from Robin's sister. And then he arrives at his headquarters... Which is basically run by Sarah Rowe's evil brother. And also, Amy is there. Well, the guy whose last name is Amy. He's he's there too. And of course, he's drooling with the faculty with Irma. And he finds out, though, that Irma is human. He's like, that's good information to know. Yeah, the whole bit with them, that's like roughly about five minutes. Because the whole thing is about them getting drunk. There's no joke in here about Caligo, about birds, because he can translate him into one. And in fact, he's Irma's master. Irma's his master. Yeah, it's, it's good pokey fun is basically Caligo the whole episode. I found that this episode really enjoyable. Next week is a cooking episode, and Omri is here, along with Claire. This should be quite interesting, to say the least. Yeah, and also Caligo won bingo, so he brought home a, a golden statue of the chairman. Which is interesting to say the least. Yep. But yeah, that's it particular view. Uh that's gonna be a video tonight, so tomorrow. It's gonna be roughly about five anime discussed tomorrow, along with the newest chap newest uh chapter of probably Black Clover discussed tomorrow. But those five anime will be Dragon FP, Case Close, My Hero Academia, One Piece, and Baruto. Yep, next video tomorrow. Bye.